Welcome back. In this video, I'll be taking you through the first setup process of your Chromebook. So if this is your first time setting up a Chromebook and you're not sure what to do, I'll be showing you how to go through the process. So the first step is to choose your language. So come to this language icon here and select it. Then you can choose your language. So you can scroll through this list and select your language. And you can also choose to change your input method. So you can choose to stick with the same language or you can choose to change it, it's up to you. Then once you've selected it, you want to tap on OK. From here, you want to continue with Get Started. If you have an Android phone, then you can use that phone to set up your Chromebook. But since I don't have my Android phone with me, I'll just go through the longer process. So let me select Get Started. So from here, you need to connect to our Wi-Fi network. Again, if you have an Android phone, you can use those Wi-Fi networks that have already been pre-connected to connect your Chromebook, or you can just select a network that's currently available to you, and then you want to enter in the password. And then connect. Once connected, simply wait for your Chromebook to continue to the next step. And then from here, you want to tap on Next. Next, you want to choose your Chromebook setup, whether it's for personal use, for a child, or for work. And then once you've selected your uh, setup, you can just go to the next step. So then it will check for updates, and then it will start installing the next update automatically. If you've chosen any of the other options, such as setting up for a child or setting up for personal use, you may have some other steps that you need to go through before you're brought to this page. So it just depends on what you're setting it up for. And then if you want to continue with the installation, you can just wait for it to complete itself, or you can just choose to skip and then remind me later. So then you want to enter in your Google account and password. So you can do this in two ways. You can automatically get account from Android phone, or you can enter in your Google account and password. So let's choose this option, then go to the next step. Then from here, once it's finished loading, you now want to enter in your account details. Then go to the next step. Enter in your password. Then next. And then if you have two-step verification enabled, you want to verify that it's actually you before you can continue to the next step. And then once verified, you need to agree to the terms and condition and all sorts of options. If you're fine with all of this that you've read through, then you can just click on accept and continue. And then if you want to sync your Chromebook with another device, then you can do that. Or you can just do, choose to do that later. It's up to you. And then you want to accept and continue. From here, you will be prompted to set up a password. So you can choose the, to do this in two ways. You can choose to create a password for the Chromebook. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a Google account password. It can be a, its own individual password. Or you can just choose to keep using your Google account password for the convenience of not having too many passwords for you to remember. It's up to you. And then once you've selected your choice, you want to tap on next. And then you can choose to create a pin now or you can choose to do that later, it's up to you. So let me just skip this step. And then you'll be told that Chromebook comes with Gemini, so just go to the next step. And then you can choose to connect your Android phone for a seamless experience. If you want to do that, you can just get your Android phone and connect. So ensure that you're on the same Wi-Fi network and all sorts of things. Or you can choose to do this later, and then you can just simply select no thanks. Then you can choose more features that you want to set up, such as changing touch pan and touchpad scrolling direction, the display and text size, selecting light or dark theme. Again, it's up to you to decide if you want to do this now or do this later. So you can just go to skip and then get started to finish setting up your Chromebook. So once you've done that, you can now be 
you'll be prompted to take a quick tour. So if this is your first time using Chromebook, then you can continue with a quick tour. But if you have experience and you're just not sure about how you set it, go about setting up a Chromebook, you can just select no thanks and then start using your Chromebook. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.